channel. This week, I'm going to be talking to you guys about my experience in a performing arts high school. As you guys know, in a video a couple weeks back, I talked about going to a performing arts high school. Well, I actually went to a performing arts high school where I was classically trained. So I decided to bring my friend Dana Eisman to come and share our experiences at this performing arts high school. You guys can all go follow Dana on her social media. I have linked it in the description below. And before we get started, subscribe. On. That subscribe button down below. Just do it. Hey. Now, we are not gonna share the name of the high school because we don't wanna get filled. None of us have money like that. So, Dana, mm. what was the audition process like for this said school? Girl, it was intense. So we got like a letter in the mail before mm -hmm. we had to audition, like all these requirements that we needed to do. We need to pick out a song from a list that they provided. Opera, arias, whatever. I personally, because I was trying to go in for voice, I was like, I'm gonna pick a classical song. We had to do like a bunch of like rhythmic Yes. Tests. We had to like- With the pencil! The audition process was definitely nerve wracking. My goodness! Star. <laughs> so, as you can tell, everything about this school was really extra from the audition process to the people who attended uh, aka us. us you know how all high schools have like a cute little bell that tells you you like, gotta go to class ours was not a bell it was a group of individuals that had performed in the musical <laughs> the year prior. It was Hairspray. Yes. Wait, we can't say we can't it. it. You've seen Hairspray, Good Morning Baltimore. It was Good Morning, morning. Ba -da -da. Don't be tardy. And we acted like this was normal and it yeah. totally was not. This was not, not a normal thing that occurred in other high schools. The lunchroom. Oh my God. Like Gosh. when you talk about performing arts high schools, the typical thing is like people dancing on the tables. That happened. That, that wasn't even social suicide. Like people in that school lived for that. If you didn't show up and show out, who were you, what were you doing? Popularity was based on like talent. How well you performed. Another thing that was really extra was the fashion. You oh, knew God. who was who and in what major by what they wore. Dance majors always wore sweatpants. Vocal majors always had some sort of scarf. They went to <laughs> class with like dresses you would wear to bat mitzvahs and like heels. <laughs> I couldn't even walk I in wore heels. heels every single day. Uh, we're gonna talk about something that is kind of triggering. We're gonna be talking about bullying. And I hate that we're laughing, like smiling about this. Like bullying is a very serious topic. Yeah. There are kids who are bullied for various reasons and it's really sad to hear that people still go through this. But our bullying was on some next level weird stuff. Like things you normally would never get bullied for, we were bullied for. Kind of laughable at this age, but like back then it was so serious. Like here's an example. So in a choir class, the Sopranos were flat once again. Our teacher got so frustrated with us that her rage just came out in an action, and the action was she threw a pencil at us. I laughed. <laughs> also, it wasn't just the teachers that sometimes would get into that bullying mode, though very often they would. They had their favorites because they would always hang out in the teacher's like office. If you sat there and you weren't one of the favorites, everyone would just they be would like- They would stare at you as you walked in. Just, I'm here to talk about my report card. Like, we get it. You're the favorites, stay, stay in there. We also got bullied by the kids. Okay, I'm I'm gonna use different names. So we're gonna name the girls Purell Lysol. Purell and Lysol. Purell and Lysol were in my show choir class. Our show choir teacher, he was seriously the best. He picked out a few of the people that he wanted to join this elite, it wasn't supposed to be a, called was, elite squad, but it was elite squad. Elite show choir. Do, do, do. So, he picked out whoever he wanted and he pointed at me and I was really excited because I was like, yes, I get to be in part of the exclusive club of show choir. And these two girls, Lysol and Purell, 
freaking yell. No. We don't want her. Said it in front of the entire class, like 30 to 40 so, people. Oh, it was so embarrassing. Who is you, bitch? I was so mad. I was so livid. I did get into the elite squad. Like, Thank you. I thought they were on the show Glee. But you have like another crazy story too from like some other girl. Yeah. The show choir. And also show choir. So I had like this solo, right? Um, I think it was part of like a Sondheim medley thing, which we were all really excited about. I forget what it was, but I go into the music office or the club as you like to call it um, after class and this girl comes up to me and she was just like trying to direct me and like, she's like, this is how you should act your 16 bars. So I was like, oh, that's, that's nice. Well, I made that choice on purpose. So if he wants to change it, he can tell me, but I made that choice. So I don't need your advice. In that same Sondheim medley, I'll insert a clip here because I actually have the clip of this. Dana's singing one thing, I'm singing another. Cough drop this went cough up drop. to Dana and says this one thing, right? It's around like the time that we're getting acceptances from colleges. I was rejected from NYU and I went into the club the music office and I was just crying. And because I had just found that out, I was like, I'm never gonna amount to anything. And all these like people gathered around me and they were like, no cash, you're okay. Like, Half drop comes up to me and she's like, oh my God, cash. What are you like crying about? I like, didn't get into my dream school in school. I'm really upset about it. And she goes, cash, you don't have nothing. You have that solo in that song. Excuse me? Are you kidding me, Contra? <gasps> You're comparing my dream school to a solo? They were so cutthroat that they would literally sing at you, like vibrate. Oh my god. They would yes. vibrate towards you in the hallway to intimidate you. And this one girl, we're gonna name her Toothpick, because she was a pain in our ass. <laughs> would literally sing to try to intimidate you. Let's like reenact. Dana's the normal one. <laughs> That's how that girl would be every single time. That's how you know it was not okay in that school. Best of times and the it worst of times. <laughs> if you guys want to see us spill more tea about our performing arts high school, parties that we had there. A couple of the parties were at a spa. Spa? spa. So leave a comment down below and give this video a thumbs up if you guys want to see more of those types of videos because we had a lot of tea. That's it for today's video, folks. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys next week. And always remember your light. No! Maybe! Maybe.